never play the board game Risk. And I've said this a few times. Um, I can laugh about it now. This, I'm sorry, this is, is rabbit trailing here. Um, Hutch left the first band after a game of Risk. <laughs> and I learned a lesson. Don't, don't do that. What is it about that devil's game? It just unearths some awful things. It always, that one in Monopoly, I think, those are the games that just end with the board getting flipped over and someone quitting. They quit the band or it's like, I'm out of here. Uh, but seriously, it's really about trying to do, uh, what is it, team building exercises? Risk is not a team building exercise. Um, but other than that, which is just, I guess, good practical advice. I'm serious. That, that's real advice. Um, although we stopped playing Risk and I still lost three guys in the band. So I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But one thing I will say is I, I think as long as you're enjoying the music you're making, that's it, man. I mean, that's all, that's all you get to control in the journey. If you're lucky enough to ever get a record deal or there's people that come on board to help you book shows and manage you and then all the things you're going to have to do in the extracurricular. And, um, you know, we always talk about that tax time in, in bands when you got to pay your tax, which is basically, all right, we got to write the bio. We got to write the bio again. And uh, T-shirt designs or, or just the things that's like, you, you just wind up letting go and it's just whatever. But at the end, the source of life, the thing that keeps you going is just getting in headphones, getting some chords going, getting a beat going, and just writing songs. And you just try to do that as best you can. And I feel like that's always been a valid mean of therapy. And just, you know what? I just keep my head down and just make good music. Whatever I think is good music, the rest of that stuff seems to sort itself out. <laughs>